was I was trying to take care of his body. I did uh I did listen to a podcast yesterday. But shouldn't I can jump in with that? It would make it easier. It would make it easier. Warm up, be right back. Sun came out. There we go, there we go guys. Don't give up, don't give up. All right, I'll tell you the time back at the studio. Ah, oh, come on now, we got this, we got this. Remember, I tried to do this exact same workout four days ago, four days ago, and I called it, I cut it at three miles. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And a quick tip of the day, you know this, I've said it before, you wanna be in control of your workout. You don't want the workout to be in control of you because that means you're probably going too hard, going to the well too deep. That's what happened on Tuesday. That's right, so today is Saturday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So four, doors, four days later, I was in control. I was in control. And we're back at the house. All right, about to edit the second vlog, the uh, Wild Horse 5 vlog real quick, and then I'm gonna import the run into Strava. Oh man, oh, I'm excited, I'm excited. After Tuesday, that was a little just disheartening. I'm not gonna say sad, but just a little disheartening. I was like, all right, we gotta reset, hit that reset button. Oh, this is good, this is good. All right, here we go. Back from the park, dinner time. Oh man, Pinterest called. They want their IPO back. Uh, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, boom. Oh my goodness. Sometimes, what would you call this? Like a smorgasbord? Cheese plate. Cheese plate. Smorgasbord. Cheese plate. We got your olive, olives, crackers, apple, bacon. What's that? Jelly. Jelly. Oh, cheese. Goat cheese with honey. Oh, man. So, sometimes, it's especially in the summertime, we like to do a, a, board, a dinner. board dinner, a display of all the food. And just keep it nice and simple. And oh, it's crazy. But it's and so delicious. Pleasure. The crazy thing is so delicious. Mm -hmm. So, boom. Thanks, hon. You're welcome. Boom. <laughs> Oh man, nothing like a little family dance party slash Nerf gun war. Now I'm telling you, got to keep it loose. Got to, got to keep those legs limber, loosey goosey. Dance out those workouts. Dance out those tired kinks and aches and pains in your legs. Oh, feeling good now. Feeling good. All right, it's a crazy day. It's a great day. Hitting reboot. Yes, keyword is going to be reboot for this vlog. 
One year ago, I DNF'd. I DNF'd at the Lake Sonoma 50 miler race out in California. It's a very, very popular ultra race. And I had an ankle issue and I was bonking like there's no tomorrow. And I really learned that day, like, gosh, maybe I need to reevaluate this long, long, long distance running and maybe hone in on my strengths, which after today's workout at Wash Park, the nine mile threshold, who knows? Maybe I have discerned well for coming back in distance. Um, we're about to find out. We're going to find out together, but it's crazy. One year ago, I was in California, DNF'd a 50 mile race. Anyway, it's crazy. Okay. Four days ago, I said this. Nope. 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 <laughs> Nine mile threshold was not meant to be today. I tried. All right. Basically, I called the workout early. I went, I think I went like three, three and a half miles. And basically, I was going from 515 per mile to about 530, 535. Now and I know. Based on the Even efforts, if it is only a three, my only watch. in quotes, a three mile race. We've got to respect the intensity that we're putting forth, even if it's a short, even if it's an 800 meter race. If you are all out in an 800 meter, like you're going to feel it. Your legs are going to feel it. And I do think those Reebok float ride run fast pro shoes, three ounces, they're a beautiful thing, but I was digging. I was working hard in that race, sub five minute pace. I do think it's, it zapped. If I can use that word, it zapped my legs just a little bit. So today, was a different story. All right, are you ready for a few splits real quick? Hold on, let me pull them up. And by the way, thank you for all the, the support on Strava. Okay, well, let me see here. Okay, 504 first mile, so a little quick. I wish I would have been closer to 510, but then we locked it in at 517. 513, 518, 517, 520, 521, 514, and 519. And as you know, as I've said before, my goal marathon pace is basically 518 a mile, all right? At sea level, not at altitude, at sea level. So I am very grateful that I'm getting a little older and a little wiser to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. And as we creep ever so closer to Cleveland, the next threshold run will be in, I'm gonna say nine, to 13 days, right around there. I'm not sure yet exact. I'm again, just gonna listen to how the legs are feeling. And uh, the goal is gonna be 13 miles for that th next threshold. And I'm thinking I might need some help. That's right. I'm wondering if someone or a couple people might be willing to come out, come back to Wash Park and basically pace me on a bike. If you'd be game, I'm, I'm, I just know, like today was good. I was feeling it at the end, that at right, at, right about the eight and a half mile mark. I was like, okay, I'm working here. I could use a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of pacing help. And so anyway, just tossing it out there. Um, if somebody wants to email me, if you have a bike and you live near Wash Park in Denver, I would be grateful for you to come along and uh, basically pace me to 518 a mile pace for 13 miles. That is going to be the next threshold. And one last point before the question of the day, the Nike Zoom Fly Flying It. This was definitely the fastest I've ever taken this shoe out at. And at 5.15, I think the previous speed was about 6.15 a mile, maybe 6.30 a mile. So at 5.15, a mile, 5.15, 5.16 a mile was basically the overall average. Um, the React foam was nice. The roads were a little slick today, so I was a little cautious. There's a couple turns in Wash Park that they're not sharp, but you're definitely like, anyway, you're just got you're just turning, you're turning. And I felt slightly unstable with the wet roads. I just had to be, I was thinking about, because the stack height is so tall, I think it, yeah, it's 33 millimeters in the heel and 23 in the forefoot, so you're up there. Um, yeah, so I was just thinking about, uh, Let's not roll an ankle. Let's let's not go over. So other than the slick roads and just feeling a little unstable, I really, really enjoyed the ride at 515. And the React foam is just burly. It's just, it's tough. Like this React foam, it's just totally different than the ZoomX foam in the Vaporfly. Uh, so like I'm seeing a little bit of compression. I just know this midsole is going to last a long, long time, a long, long time. I'm not so certain about the outsole, actually. I'm seeing just a little bit of wear and tear through the forefoot after basically 65 miles in this shoe. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that outsole for all of you. And that keyword again is reboot question of the day. It's a little, uh, it's a little crazy. It's a little bit of a tough one. 
question of the day. What are you most afraid of in training? What are you most afraid of in training? I could, the easy answer for me is, you know, it's, it's probably injury, but I must say, I did not like cutting a workout short on Tuesday. Like that was really, maybe I did not express enough on camera, you know, four days ago, how much that was like, uh, no, I did not want to do that, but I did. And I cut my volume this week. I cut, I cut it by basically 40%. Uh, from the previous week and my legs felt refreshed today and I just felt as I said at the park I felt in control of the workout so anyway there's a little insight for you for my mental you know as far as how my mental process is working out for this marathon training and I'll be curious real curious and I know it's a tough one but what are you most afraid of in your training huh huh all right seek beauty work hard and love each other. Thanks for being here on a Saturday. Eh, Sunday, I suppose. Oh, by the way, tomorrow morning, Boston Marathon, Monday, April 15th. I'm going to go live here in the studio. I think I said 7 a.m., but I, I think I'm going to bump it to 7.30 a.m., 7.30 a.m. Mountain Time, because I think the elite fields go off at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So anyway, just hit the notification button. You'll get a notification when we go live here in the studio for the Boston Marathon. The day is here. Oh, hoping for better weather. Oh, boy. See you tomorrow.